In this video, we will continue with trigonometric equations. You will find this on page 202 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. The first two terms of an arithmetic progression are 1 and cos squared x respectively. Show that the sum of the first 10 terms can be expressed in the form a minus b sin squared x, where a and b are constants to be found. So now I'm combining um, trigonometry, I'm, I'm combining this in sequences. Actually, I'm bringing sequences in, in trigonometry. Okay, now let's start. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. So first write the first two terms. So they are telling you, I'll just move it down as you can see, uh, the first two terms, and they tell you also it's an AP, and they tell you it's 1 and cos squared x. Okay, there. Now because they tell you it's an AP, I know A is 1, I know D is T2 minus T1, so it's just this expression, and I want to the sum of 10 terms, so N is 10, and I want this sum. Go back, know your formula, so it's n over 2, 2a plus d bracket n minus 1, uh, close the bracket. So it's 10 over 2, 2a, okay, there is d, so what is d? It's going to be, there is d. I substitute, I substitute. There's the 9, um, this is, if I'm going to say it's cos squared x, so this is going to be 9, I just want to show you quickly where the, um, the oh, this is cos squared x minus 1. I can simplify it with the identity because, okay, let, let's just go back to, um, if it's cos squared x plus sin squared x equals 1. Okay, but now it's cos squared x, leave the cos squared x on this side, bring the 1 over, so... And if you take then this one over, it's minus sin squared x. And that's the reason why it's minus. It's the identity. Okay, just a little bit different. Okay, so I fill it in. And now i just going to say 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 9, it's negative 45 sin squared x. Okay, so the value of a is 10. The value of b is 45. Okay, or you can even say... I just want to know if there was a negative, so keep it 45. Now we move on. Now we go to GP. The first term of a geometrical progression, so it's the first term, it's square root 3. And the second term is this. Okay, where x, okay, now they give it in radians. So if you must do something on a calculator, stop and put your calculator on radians. But remember also, this is only... In, in a sketch, this part will be blocked block out because there is pi. Now oh, let's just get. And that part will just be blocked out. So find the set of values of x for which the progression is convergent. Okay, now, we're going to do it here. Recall that the sequence a, um, a progression is convergent if r is bigger than negative 1 and smaller than 1. It's coming from sequences. So now, I'm going to say, this is my GP. Remember, this is my first term. This is my second term. I can get R. How do I get R? It's T2 divided T1. Okay. Now, I substitute R therein. Do you see? There's R. I substitute it in. Now, I just simplify it. So to get rid of the square root 3, I multiply square root 3 on both sides. To get rid of that 2, I divide 2, divide, I'm trying to get cos x in the middle. Okay, that's what I did. Now I'm sitting with this. Now, as soon as you see, as I said, um, okay, find the set of values of x for which, okay. As soon as I see a square root 3 and a 2, I remember always, or a square root 2 and a 1, your special angles. So this the square root 3, because remember it was a uh, um, equilateral, so it's 2, 1, square root 3. This is pi over 3, this is pi over 6. Now, if I'm going to say cos, cos, look cos, square root 3, 
square root 3 over 2. So then this will be, it's working from this angle because this is adjacent and this is hypotenuse. So it's square root 3 over 2. So basically, there I can substitute in a place of cos x. So it's square root 3. Okay, where am I now? So cos x is smaller. I'm just, I can I just show you how I'm reading it? just want to clean a little bit. So it's just reading it to this side. Do you see? And then reading it to this side. So cos x smaller square root 3 over 2. And cos x is bigger. I just separate basically what? There's the blue. There's the green. Okay. Now don't forget that this is blocked out. Okay. Now if I'm going to have square root 3 over 2. Now square root 3 over 2 we said. Then this is the angle because then this will be adjacent. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. So I have this one. And now let's just see. If, if I'm going to look at this one. I'm going to say it's, it's bigger. So square root 3 over 2 and smaller. So where is cos positive and where is cos negative? Cos but here. Yeah, it's, it's going to be positive there and it's going to be negative there. So I have my pi over 6 and I have 1 minus pi over 6 and then I'm just filling it in okay so basically because there's the positive so x is bigger bigger than pi over 6 and x is smaller do you see there's the negative but it's going to be smaller than 5 pi over 6 and I'm just filling it in there Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number two. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. The first two terms, first two of a geometrical progression are 1 and 1 third tan square x, respectively. And x is bigger than 0 and smaller than a half pi. So it's in the first quadrant. Now, find the sets of values of x for which the progression converge. Okay, let's start by first writing down the first two terms. So, that will be 1 and that will be a third tan square x. And remember, it's a GP. And remember, also, the interval is between 0 and a whole pi. Okay, now for a sequence to be convergent, then the common ratio must be bigger than negative one and, sm and smaller than one. Keep that in mind. Okay, now it's a GP and this is my first two terms. So let's first find the value of R. If I want to find the value of R, it's T2 divided T1. So it's a third tan squared X divided 1. That is likely. So it's just a third tan squared X. Okay. Now, I'm going to substitute. This is the value of R. I'm going to substitute it in there. So I'm going to say now, okay, and I'm going to put it in there. So I'm going to say a third tan squared x, because that is R, okay? It's bigger than negative 1 and smaller than 1. Okay, now I want to get this middle, only tan x. So what will I do? I will, let's just say, I will multiply 3, because as soon as I multiply 3, all the terms... That third will cancel out, because that is my idea. And then I will also take the square root. And to get that square root, I will take the square root, square root, square root. So what do I get at the end? Oh, oh this is not allowed. This is undefined. Okay, but leave it like that. Um, so this is going to be negative 3. Sorry, I must first multiply. Okay, okay now I have my tan x here. And here, I have 1 multiply 3, so it's square root 3. Okay. 
Now, if I, if I look, I say the left-hand side, which is this, no real numbers. No real numbers. So we are only ending up with that. Now, again, if you can and you see a square root 3 or a square root 2 or a half, you always think of your special angles. Now, let's just come before we, let's just quickly make that triangle of the special angles. But remember, it is an equilateral. But because it's equilateral, I will just say this is 2, this is 1, this is square root 3, this is 90. Okay. So, if this is 60, remember, it goes with the opposite, so it's pi over 3, and then this one will be pi over 6, okay, because this is smaller than this one. Okay, now, if I, and now, okay, now let's make my sketch also. There is my sketch. Now, don't forget that all that parts are blocked out, only this one is left here, okay, only, so there is my only one. Now, before I'm going on, it's now square, it's tan. So if I say tan, tan is opposite over adjacent. If it was 1 over square root 3, I would have worked from that angle. But because it's square root 3 over 1, because this is over 1, I work. So it's pi over 3. So my basic angle is pi over 3. Okay. And now, so from the sketch... Okay, now, no, so basically it's just that va va value. So I will just get that tan x. Okay, so let's just quickly see there. Um, from the sketch, the set of values of x for which the progression converts will just be x is smaller because it's there. So I just substitute it there. x is smaller than pi Okay. And that will be your answer. So I will just say which, um, so let me just finish that sentence again. From the sketch, the set of values of x for which the progression converts. So for this, the progression converts. Okay. Will also work. Okay. Let's do number B. Find the exact value of the sum to infinity, okay, underline, sum to infinity when x is 1 over 6 pi. Now, remember your formula. What is the sum to infinity? It is going to be a over 1 minus r. Now, I have a, a is 1, but r, and they tell you what's the value of x. They say the value of x. So, so before I can substitute, Let's first get that R. Okay. So, if I say that R is equal to a third, where did we got that? Uh, there, a third and square X. Now, I'm going to say in the place of X, because I have X, it's going to be tan squared and it's 1 over 6 pi. Now, I think there's a way you can draw a sketch or anything, but I think in this case, it's the best just to press this on your calculator. Okay, make sure your calculator is on radians, that you see that you get um, the correct answer. So let's start with this. Let's start by pressing tan 1 over 6 pi. So I'm pressing tan, I bracket, 1 divide 6 multiply shift by close the bracket equals. Now don't forget it's square. So square equals. Okay, are you with me? Now I get 0 0.333333. So if you go and you press shift ABC, you get a third. So this becomes a third. And a third times a third is 1 over 9. Okay. And now I can continue with my sum. So now I'm going to say s to infinity is actually a over 1 minus... Okay, let's just put the a in because we have the a. It's 1 
and it's 1 minus, and don't forget your R. It's actually that 1 third tan squared, and in the place of X, you put C. That is actually that. But then I made it easier by first calculating that. So I have 1 over 1 minus, and now I substitute 1 over 9. So it's going to be 1 over 8 over 9. And if you multiply with the reciprocal, then the answer will be 9 over 8. And that will be my final answer. Or that will be the sum to infinity. 9 over 8.